Hi, Grant Wrighty peeps. Uh, Dr. E here. Uh, it's Thursday, February 2nd. Uh, getting ready for the Friday video. Um, I just want to chat with you a wee bit about uh, the what's going on, particularly the planning memos. Um, I saw that you all posted drafts, uh, and I appreciate you doing that. If you didn't get it in, get it in soon as well. Um, you'll note that for those of you who had not yet had a chance to give each other's feedback, um, I awarded three points out of possible four, and I'll go back tomorrow, and if you've given your classmates uh, thoughtful feedback, I will give the additional point for that as well. So that's just a housekeeping thing. Some general things. Um, Y'all did a pretty good job of sort of introducing yourself, of talking about your backgrounds and the kinds of things that you're interested in. And everybody should have a pretty good sense generally of what they are doing for the group grant, the food bank grant, uh, where people ran into that difficulties might be too strong a word, uh, but um, where people weren't quite as clear was in uh, their individual projects. I've had a lot of questions. Do I need to actually make contact with that agency that I'm going to do my individual grant for? The answer is yes. You need to contact them. Um, I know it can be a little intimidating, but contact them and say, hey, I am Chuck Etheridge. Um, I'm taking Dr. Etheridge's grant writing class today in Corpus. And I noticed looking on his projects page that he has worked with your agency in the past. Do you have any current grant writing projects that um, I could help your agency with? Um, just so you know, we're going to be start on this project right after spring break, which is mid-March, and the grant will be completed by May the 1st. Um, would you be interested in working with me? And if they say yes, um, the most important thing is that they have a specific project. If they say, oh, sure, do any kind of grant for you, it's not very helpful uh, because you don't really know what it is you're supposed to be doing. You don't know what they're doing. We can't find funding sources. So um, again, make contact. Be sure they are willing to work with you, um, get a sense of what the project is, and try to get good contact information. What's the best person for me to co communicate with in your organization? What's the best way to keep in contact with them uh, as well? Um, so this is important for a number of reasons, and the biggest of which is um, I need to be sure you have a project. As I've said in this last week's video, the biggest difficulty people have in this class is they come back from spring break and they don't have a project. If you don't have a project, half half the class is doing your individual projects. So I want to make sure you get it lined up early, which is why I have you do this planning memo. There's some other things as well. Um, only X number of people can work with a nonprofit agency. Generally, only uh, they'll only work with a maximum of two. So if six of you have all... Um, said they want to work with the Joe Bob charity. I need to find um, other projects. So uh, the clients are divided up evenly. So one client doesn't get overwhelmed. And so um, you all each have a good learning experience where you're getting a lot of attention from that client as well. And I also need to keep, keep straight, straight which funding sources you're applying to so you don't wind up in competition with each other as well. So this is pretty important, and um, you do need to get that done. If, for some reason, you are not able to get that nailed in by the time uh, Friday rolls around, go ahead and turn your planning memo in, and uh, I'll just give you whatever credit there is. And then whenever you're able to actually nail down that individual project, I'll revise your score up, because the purpose of the planning memo is to make sure you have everything in place so you can have success this semester as well. So um, I'm going to let you keep on revising, not to make the paper better, but until you have all the pieces in place. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, give me an email, give me a call, give me smoke signals, whatever works for you as well. Um, and I look forward to seeing your final version. And again, thanks a lot.